Hurry up! No time for that! Abstergo's found us! Tell your boss I'm ready. Also, Bird could come get me himself, if he's not a coward. What the hell is wrong with you? What else could I do? They were out to kill us, even Alethea ran for the hills. There was no reason to massacre them. Everything okay down there? It sounded like a war zone. We're fine, Alana. But don't expect much action anytime soon. Seems like this specific memory in the Animus is down for the count. Let me guess, that happened when you ripped me out. Great, that's the last thing we need. I had no choice. Complaining won't repair the computer. The memory files are overriding each other, and I'll need time to sort them out. You know what? I need some time alone. May as well head back to Greece until Alethea returns anyway. That wasn't so long of a wait, was it? I've patched the memories, and we're good to go back in the simulation. With Abstergo on our tails, we have to move fast. You can't blame me for being eager to get going. I won't blame you if you don't blame me for what happened earlier. It's just, Atlantis isn't our little secret anymore. Let's try to move on, shall we? Victoria, you have to trust me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're friends, Layla. But more than that, I'm your doctor. I can't ignore what's happening to your body when you're in there. Something is really off. I'm fine. I don't know how much more doctor talk I can take. Ugh, I'll never get used to that. She comes out of nowhere. Glad you're back. Bet even you didn't see that Abstergo ambush coming, Alethea. Not exactly. But as long as they're gone and you're ready, your journey with the staff continues. After that cliffhanger in the pit of Elysium, you bet I'm ready. <laughs> I have to see what happens next. By interacting with the Keeper's insights in Elysium, Alexios exchanged knowledge with the staff. That means by extension of the Animus, so have you. I gotta tell you, I do feel stronger somehow. Try to keep your head in there. Good luck, Layla.
reek of mortal. Hades. The last mortal to dance with Cerberus and live was Heraclius. But then he had Athena and Hermes wrapped around his mighty finger. So tell me, who's wrapped around your finger? Which god helped you slay my beast? There were no gods in that pit. Just me and my spear. <laughs> so you did have help from the gods. I know who you are, what you've done, and I'd say you owe me, Keeper. It wasn't my plan to be thrown down that hole, but here I am. What do you want from me? Thanks to you, my realm is more chaotic than ever. With Cerberus gone, there's nothing to stop the dead from crossing over to the world of the living. So find another dog. You find another dog! I'm sorry you had to see that. The blood runs hot in my family. <clears throat> you did this, so I think it's only fair that you fix it. Fine. Tell me where you keep the multi-headed monsters around here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 my dear Keeper. My realm, my rules. I have four gates. Instead of one guardian for them all, I want you to find me four guardians. One for each of them. The Underworld is filled with kings, heroes, legends, all lost, all trying to find purpose. You could give them that purpose. The Cerberus was a fierce guardian. What human could replace him? No human could. A legend, though, immortal in the minds of the living, would strike terror in any who dare to cross over. Find me four of those. And if I don't find these guardians, then what? Boundaries between the world of the living and the realm of the dead will melt. The vile creatures locked away in Tartaros will roam free. Mortal souls will wander lost for eternity. And I will be very, very angry with you. Teach me how to use this staff, and it's a deal. Ah, yes. The trials of the Keeper. I've already heard how you'll stop at nothing to figure out that boring little stick of yours. This boring little stick? Tell you what. Go talk to my ferryman, Harun. Help him put things back in order, and I'll help you fulfill your destiny. See what you've done? These are everywhere now. Fix it. Oh, I'll fix it. My brother and I have a little wager on whether or not you'll succeed in your quest. Don't let me down. You don't want to owe me twice.
Off we go now. Are you the ferryman? A busy ferryman. Someone just had to kill the guardian of the gate, and now I'm up to my eyeballs in rotting new covers. So, unless some god sent you to plug all the holes and clean up the mess between the realms, I don't want anything to do with you. It just so happens that Hades sent me. What did a shiny, living fleshling like you do to end up in debt to the god of the underworld? I, uh... May have killed Cerberus. Well, now that Hades' big dog is dead, rifts have opened all across the underworld. My passengers are being attacked by prisoners of Tartaros and all of his little dogs. Listen, I have to find four guardians to protect the gates and close the rifts. Hades said you'd need my help. Unbelievable. He sends a fleshling through the underworld to fix a problem only the dead can solve. Only the dead can solve. So that's why I felt so weak when I fought those things. The last fleshling who worked for Hades wore a special suit of armor, but he's been torn to shreds. Now the armor's been scattered across the realm. My mother told me my path would be tough, but she never prepared me for this. And you're going to have to fight some pretty vengeful warriors to collect four of the pieces. The fifth, a set of gauntlets, has gone missing. You... do fine. What makes this armor I need so special? Forged on the bronze anvil that fell into Tartarus, it allows fleshlings like yourself to see things they shouldn't see, and go places they shouldn't go. Of course, Hades never mentioned this. He's very selective. You said something about prisoners. The Underworld's most horrific offenders are locked away in the prison of Tartarus. Many have escaped through the rifts and are putting the rest of us, hard-working, dedicated, passionate souls, in peril. What did you mean exactly when you said little dogs? The hounds of Hades. Nasty little creatures who hunt and destroy the lost souls who want granted passage across the sticks by yours truly. Time to put this place back in order. All you need to do is collect some armor, defeat angry warriors, and find four guardians to protect the underworld. Right. Seeing as you're new here, I'll give you some advice. The Baron Pond. The Eternal Battlefield and Hades Palace are all excellent places to start. And if you happen to have any spare time, I've got some work for you as well. Small to be an adult. Hella. Those bones belong to. Yeah. Dolls in the underworld.
What's this? A message? I never thought I'd see you again. Are you a god? Phoebe, it's me, Alexios. It's nice to meet you, Alexios. Is that your eagle? I wish I had an eagle. could never forget your name. There hasn't been a day I don't think about you. I don't remember you. Do you work for the man with one eye? Who's that? He gave me this water when I was thirsty. You drank Lethe's water? <sighs> Phoebe, this is very important. I need you to remember who gave you that. I... I don't remember his name. Um, he took my toy. You had an eagle, like Icarus. If we get your eagle back, maybe you'll remember. No, I remember everything. I think. Try to think. Do you know where the man with one eye took your wooden eagle? I think he said something about a pit. The pit of deprivation? That's it. Do you remember anything from before drinking that water? No, I, I've always been here. The man with one eye should never have given you this water, or taken your toy eagle. We're going to get it back. You mean, steal? Stealing is exactly what I mean. Something tells me you're going to be a natural. Want to come with me? You want me to come on an adventure with you? Okay. Then let the adventure begin. You remind me a lot of a girl I knew on Kevalonia. Have you ever been there? I've always been right here. What was the girl like? Oh, she was <laughs> brave and smart. She'd say she looked up to me, but I'm the one who looked up to her. You looked up to her? Did you ever tell her? No. I wanted to, but I ran out of time. Don't be sad. I bet she knew. That girl left Kefalonia eventually. Where did she go? Athens, where she was loved by people like Pericles. Does that name sound familiar to you? <laughs> That's a funny name. It sounds like a sneeze. What about Tanthusa? No one who meets her forgets her. No, sorry. Okay, wait. Keep a sharp watch here.
Even if this doesn't bring her memory back, we'll make new ones together. Eagle. Couldn't have done it without you. Now, hold it. Do you remember anything? Alexios? Yes, that's my name. Good, Phoebe. Good. Nothing wrong with you. Adults are selfish, stupid. They don't realize how incredible a girl like you is until you're gone. What do you mean? You still don't remember. Those men with the knives and masks? Phoebe, you didn't survive that night in Athens. No, that's not possible. I wasn't sick. I was just helping Pericles. Then... Oh... I'm so sorry, Phoebe. I'm... Where are the Golden Fields? You mean Elysium? I was there. It was beautiful. But I came here to find my parents. You traveled to the Underworld to save your family? That's very brave. Just like you want to find yours. But mine still need me. I should go to them. Phoebe, you've been through a lot. And you've never met your parents. 
It's okay to be nervous. I was nervous to meet mine. I wouldn't be nervous if you came with me. Before we go anywhere, where are your parents? I was following a clue. It said those parted from their beloved are doomed to the Ixion wheel. Maybe I'm their beloved. Are you sure you're okay? No. But Amistios taught me to always be brave, even when I'm feeling down. So I am being brave. Sailing to Elysium can be a difficult journey. Do you know how long you were there? I woke up on a boat. Everything was cloudy. Then there was light, and golden fields, and waterfalls. Only the bravest warriors are allowed there, you know? Descending to the underworld is proof that you deserve your place among them. Oh, I don't know. It would be an honor to be there for you when you meet your parents. <laughs> the last I heard about my parents, they were hiding near the Exilium wheel. Hiding? From what? The underworld is scary. Maybe they're not fighters like us. I could teach them what you taught me. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Baby, stay back! I already told you. Go tell the Cyclops the girl isn't here. And neither is her family. Now get back! Relax. We're not going to hurt you. But we need to know what happened here. Those thugs followed the Cyclops of Kefalonia to their graves. And now they follow him in the underworld. He sent them through here, looking for a girl. The man with one eye. Have you ever met a girl named Phoebe? We don't know a Phoebe. Why were they looking for the girl? I'm not sure. I was a friend to her parents. They used to hide here. They told tales of their daughter, a great warrior who sailed to Elysium. They called her a warrior? When Cerveros died, they snuck off to the Golden Fields to find her. But now... The Cyclops is looking for them all. Excuse us, please. I remember now. The man with the one eye is the Cyclops. He forced me to drink the water. He must know we stole your eagle back and came to retaliate. What do we do? The gates to Elysium are open. But you know the Cyclops. He won't stop until he gets what he wants. We have to deal with him. What about her? She's a friend of my parents. I want to help her. She seems like she can fend for herself. The Kiris are magic. They heal people who get hurt in battle. They live close by. I could... Phoebe... I can do this. I'll be quick. Then we can fight the Cyclops. Uh, all right. But don't take too long. But I'm coming after you.
this is it.
Greeks here from Kefalonia. All of them work for this The Eagle Bearer. I overheard the Cyclops saying you were in the Underworld, but I didn't believe it. I'm looking for a girl. Her name was Phoebe. I is. Her name is Phoebe. They took a girl onto one of their boats, but... But what? She wasn't moving. <sighs> Tell me where they were sailing. I couldn't see. The Charon's at the dock on the riverbank. No one sails without him knowing. How long ago did they leave? If you set sail now, you could probably catch up to them. But be quick. Get out of here while you can. I'm going to find the Cyclops and stop him once and for all. Take this as thanks. You can pay Charon to send you down the sticks after them. One of the prisoners said the Cyclops took a friend of mine down the sticks. Oh, the young girl from Elysium. They dumped her lifeless body into one of my old boats. Take me to her. What is it you fleshlings do to calm down? Breathe? Yes. Breathe and tell me what happened. There's no time, Charon. We're taking your ferry down the fucking sticks now. Very well. I know precisely where the Cyclops of Kefalonia was taking your young friend. It's a gate. 
The place should seem familiar to all of you. <sighs> Thank you. Now we have to go. It's... my home, on Kefalonia. How is this possible? Phoebe! Phoebe! Been a long time. Heard you and the girl finally came down to join us. Couldn't pass up the opportunity to show you both a warm Kefalonian welcome. If you hurt her, if, I will cut out your other fucking eye! And this time, it's going up your ass, Cyclops! No one calls me that! <laughs> Give it to me. I'll cut out one of your eyes! Come and try. I will make you suffer, Cyclops. The way you make Phoebe suffer, eh? You didn't hear about that, did you? Earth, mother of all, I greet you. Amyaso. Mm. Alexios? <laughs> you're okay! And you're... Here. I was here this time, Phoebe. But you have to be more careful. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to you. I just wanted you to be proud of me. Can you stand? What is this place? And where is the Cyclops? Don't worry, the Cyclops is gone. And this is a doorway to Elysium. So that's it? Through there? 
I'll find my real parents. You can do this, Phoebe. Let's go. Seeing this place makes me miss Kefalonia. We had some good days, didn't we? I don't want to go. You have no choice, Phoebe. You belong with your parents. No. I belong with you. Please, don't make me go. Don't be afraid. I'm leaving this place too, once I finish what I started. But I will be with you. I, uh... Found this. Take it with you to keep me close. What if my parents don't like me? Of course, they're going to like you. They'll do more than like you, they'll love you. But I won't be able to forget you. You're my family, too. Can I come back here and find you? Once you leave, you can never come back. But one day, a long time from now, I will come to you. And we'll tell each other all about our adventures. You'll always be my family, no matter what. I think I'm ready. Phoebe, the warrior who sailed to the Golden Fields. Phoebe, who plunged into the underworld to save her family. Phoebe, the eagle bearer. You have made me so proud. Walk tall. I told you he wouldn't let the kid lose her memories. Instead, she drew out the child's own strength and inspired her to endure her burden. Remarkable. Those must be the escaped prisoners of Tartaros, Harold spoke of. Yeah! 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 
Have mercy after all. Oh, Mysterios, your appearance is what I've been waiting for. Funny. You're the last person I want to see. Of course, of course. Our parting terms were less than amicable. You sent me to kill my father and try to kill me! Which I now regret. Deeply. Seeing the underworld torn apart by chaos has shown me the error of my ways. If you think after everything you did, I'd believe a word you say? <laughs> Malaka! I'm not the same man you knew. I promise I can prove it. What a mess. Elpinor, I expect this to be cleaned up. Of course, Hades. And consider finding a more permanent solution to the mongers' attacks while you're at it. The mongers here too? The monger escaped Tartarus. He's continuing the cult's work by recruiting other escaped prisoners as they exit the rifts. I've seen them. They put up a good fight. We've captured one of them, but he won't tell me where the monger is hiding. Threaten him, perhaps? What makes you think I'd help you? Hades and I are close, and you need him to teach you about your staff. Helping me helps Hades. He'll appreciate this, Alexius. As would I, of course. Fine. But I'm doing this for myself. By Zeus. Not you again, Alpinor. Uh, I've heard enough of your spineless posturings to last two lifetimes. Tell me where the monger's hiding, or I start breaking bones. Come now, Alexios. There's no need for that. You said... My friend, I offer you freedom from Tartarus if you tell us where the monger is hiding. Which I know is what he promised, but will inevitably fail to deliver. All right, fine, fine. If only to shut you up. He's hiding out in the Lost Temple of Nyx. You'll never be able to take him down, anyway. Exceptional. I've been tracking the monger from the moment the rifts appeared. There's just one problem. The Lost Temple of Nyx is behind the Veil. The Veil? Since Cerberus was killed, it spilled out into the Underworld. The Veil of Tartarus was created to keep out living mortals, so that only those beyond redemption could enter the prison of the wicked. Which means you'll make it through just fine. But Heron said I would need armor. Yes, the armor of the Fallen. Lucky for you. I may be able to help so we can both infiltrate the monger's hideout. You want to storm the monger's hideout together? Of course, a chance to fight alongside the mighty eagle bearer. No one would turn that down. Besides, this is my opportunity to prove that I've changed. Charon already told me that four of the armor pieces are guarded by the Fallen, but that the gauntlets were lost long ago. Haron tends to confuse lost with misplaced. Rest assured, I will help you find the gauntlets. Meet me at Kronos' treasury.
Alexios, I'm glad you've come. Would you blame me if I did? I learn your trust in time. And we can begin that process now. This door will lead us to Kronos' treasury, where the gauntlets you'll need are stored. I have the key here. If you want me to trust you, you have to start being honest with me. Why do you have the key? Hades had me tidy the treasury for him once. It isn't wise to steal from the Titans. The Titans fell long ago. No harm in using their tools to put a stop to the monger. So what? You're Hades' housekeeper now? I like to work for him only on occasion, that is all. Think of me as his... mentee. Hades doesn't strike me as the mentoring type. There's much about Hades that you don't understand. I'll need those gauntlets if we want to catch the monger. My thoughts exactly. I'll offer my assistance as your personal guide through the treasury. Let's just get this over with. Of course, Mistyus. Whatever you need. Tread carefully. The prisoners of Tartarus have been known to attack this cave. <laughs> Can be cleared from the other side. If you wouldn't mind climbing across the I might consider it. Then again, I might not. I'll see how I feel. So, uh, how's working for the God of the Dead? You really want to know? Try me. All the myths and stories don't come close to doing Hades justice. He's cunning, inspiring, a true architect of life, but also of death. He's everything I aspire to be. Kronos's treasury. Kronos hid all his worldly possessions here, far away from the sounds that had been prophesied to be his undoing. It was my favorite story as a child. All the myths, stories, and epics told throughout the generations were transpiring beneath us all along. 
And now we get to play among the gods, together. Let's find the gauntlets, quickly. Over here. These gauntlets will help me get past the veil. Thanks for your help. My pleasure, of course. All right. Let's get out of here. killer who tried poisoning the politicians in Athens. Off we go. Ella. After I kill you, Demos is dead. I can still feel Demos smashing my head against the artifact. Thanks to the power Demos gave me, I am immortal. Diktatos, the one my sister killed to spare me.
softer than I remember. I should be careful. High security here. Come <laughs> on. 
look fabulous. Now let me tell you my plan to catch the monger. Last I checked, you needed help getting bloodstains out of your clothes. Should you really be coming up with strategies for storming temples? Like it or not, I know the underworld and its enemies far better than you do. Try to work with me here. Fine. Exceptional. I'll distract the prisoners while you head straight to the monger. We can't let him escape. Once you defeat him, take him to the deepest abyss of Tartaros. You'll have to pass through the entrails of Gaia to get there. Entrails of... <sighs> Never mind. Let's go.
We make a good pair. At first I was worried you wouldn't stick to the plan. You haven't been very trusting of me. Can you really blame me? You and the cult destroyed my life. I understand, but tell me you see that I've changed. That I'm trying to do good in death where I failed in life. I cannot move on without your acceptance. I've heard enough of your lies for two lifetimes! I always find it satisfying to best an adversary twice, don't you? Enough gloating, brother. He already kicked him in the pit. You won the bet. Elpinor. What a useless pawn. I thought you and Elpinor were working together. Elpinor was merely a means to further along your far more interesting journey. Any chance this means you'll teach me more about the staff now? Patience, Keeper. A few more twists are still to come along your path. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. First Alpinor, now you! I'm so sick of everyone using my life for their entertainment! It's far more than that. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough. Alright, Charon, I'm ready to hear about your lost souls. Oh, them? Not everyone in the underworld belongs here. These souls are lost. Their true resting place deserves to be found. You're the ferryman. You tell them where to go. That's not in my job description. Every soul arrives lost with unfinished business. Some are just more sympathetic than others. Who are these souls you want me to help? Most die, and are given proper funeral rites, but some aren't so lucky. And the unlucky ones become lost? Oh yes. They are left to wander eternity, unaccepting of their fates. I'll help you, Ferryman. But where should I start? There's a soldier, an Athenian. He wished to die an honorable death in battle, but as he charged towards the enemy, he slipped in the dirt... ...and fell. Sounds like quite a warrior. He needs a glorious death to pass on to Elysium, but he cannot go to war without his weapon and armor. One is located in the Restless Necropolis, and the other is in the hands of the champion known as Swordfish. Swordfish... ...of course he'd be here. I'll return the soldier's equipment and help him claim the death he seeks. This area will be well defended. The restless necropolis. Sounds fun.
doesn't look like much. I've got the Athenian sword and armor. Now I just have to return them to him. smell of battle is always the same. I'm clumsy. Just clumsy. A fellow warrior. Did death find you on the battlefield like it did me? Eh, death hasn't found me yet. I died pathetically on my knees in the dirt. That's why I'm trapped here. I'll give you the glorious death you seek. I can't fight you unarmed. There's no honor in that. Lucky for you, I have your armor and weapon here. It feels... different. Eh, you'll get the hang of it. I joined the war to protect my home from the siege of Sparta. Tell me, did we save glorious Athens and its people? Athens wasn't destroyed by Sparta, but by disease. A plague wiped out the city. I can still smell the burning flesh from the piles of dead. So, Athens is no more. We all died for nothing. Without Athens, without its people, what is there left to honor? It's time. Come, put an end to my suffering. Let's end this the right way.
ready to help another of your lost dead. My, my. Aren't you a productive little fleshling, hmm? Tell me, how did things go with the Athenian? I told him about the plague. Hmm. You chose to torture an already troubled soul. He loved Athens and its people. But he needed to know the truth. Ah, the plague. Busy times. So busy, I lost someone. A woman whose family couldn't bear to bend the body. So she's stuck down here? She now wanders the halls of the passage of souls, still sick with plague. The Thanados Pyre can purify the dead, but the only way she'd survive the ordeal is by consuming an asphodel flower. An asphodel flower? My little fleshling is in luck. Due to all the chaos you caused, there is a breach between the underworld and Elysium. You might find a flower there. What makes this asphodel flower so special? Everything from Elysium, that sickeningly perfect paradise, has some kind of boon. I'll get the flower and make sure she reaches the pyre. Be careful out there. Something as rare as an asphodel flower in this place will surely draw a great deal of attention. Stay hidden. Run with me, my friend. The air feels different here. It reminds me of Elysium. That's what I'm looking for. Testicles! It's nice to see you in uh, one piece. Mistyos! Yes, I like it. Nothing trying to eat this place. What are you doing here? Came looking for a magic flower. Sounded so pretty. Wanted pretty flower oil. Have you seen it? I don't think anything pretty grows in a place like this. You're right. Testicles is the only pretty thing here. Right. Well... It was nice seeing you. No hug before. Okay. Take care of yourself, test, please. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Just the mortal I was looking for. What do you want, Hades? It's funny how the tiniest, most insignificant things to some can mean the world to others. Good. More riddles. My darling wife hasn't been the same since the death of Cerberus. I would see her smile again. The flower you picked is the last of its kind in my world. And it happens to be her favorite. But Charon wants me to give it to the plagued woman, and you wanted me to help Charon. Tell you what. Give the flower to me, and in exchange, I'll give you the location of one of the fallen you're hunting. Fine, take it. Now tell me where the Fallen is. Very wise. This will make Persephone very happy. Her name is the Anira, and you'll find her at the altars of the Titans. Assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. Plenty of people lose everything in war. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? I was asked to find you and take you to safety. We have no friends here. Only each other. But the hounds are drawing close, so what choice do we have? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the camp. Stay close. Huh? Hey! on Tutu! I hear something. 
We need to hurry. We're too exposed out here. Stay behind me. What's going on here? A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? <sighs> Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? <sighs> I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. Why would anyone want to rob the dead? Isn't it obvious? The coins are used to pay me for passage across the sticks into the underworld. Do you suspect anyone here already? So many pass through, and honestly, you all look the same to me. <sighs> Come on. Think. Well, there was a merchant and a politician who acted strangely. They were the only ones not storming my dock. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. Come on! Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. You don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from. But as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician, I think got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. Oh, you're back. 
I have to go. Good luck in your search. How am I supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief too, but I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I found nothing here myself anyway. You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. Looks like someone buried something here and then came back for it. Must have been in a hurry. A gold bracelet. But it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. Expensive. Must have been used to cut the coins out. of my coins? I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. I think I've got what I need. The witness was cut while the politician was speaking to the crowd. Finally, I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. 
There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have we discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But a rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hole that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from these people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. Hades, so nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? This man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Harold. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Alexios. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. This should help you in the rest of your journey. Thank you, Aaron. You've been a passable assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek in this realm.
They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. This needs you. Go to the gates and guard them with your life. should be extra careful in this area. Yeah. <laughs> 
Your next soldier! Brasidas! It's me, Alexios! You fight like someone I once knew. We fought together when Cleon and the Athenians landed in Amphipolis. Don't you remember? We fought side by side. Victory was near, but then you were killed. Demos, there is nothing but darkness after that. Alexios? It's good to see you, old friend. Friend? If you'd kill your own father, what would you do to a friend? You were always driven by vengeance. Out for yourself. Never thinking of the greater good. All you cared about was Sparta. Did you ever consider that Sparta never cared about anyone else? We need to put the past behind us now. What are you doing here? You're not dead, are you? No, not yet at least. I have a staff from my father, uh, my real father. It has powers. I was sent to the underworld to learn how to use them. Powers? It's a long story, but I've been all over Elysium looking for answers. My search brought me here. You've been to Elysium? Honor the gods, honor Sparta. Keep your oaths and Elysium is yours. My father told me this as a child, and every single day of my life I lived by that code. But now in death, I'm sentenced to this misery. If there's anyone I fought with who deserves paradise, it's you. Then why am I here? You should be taking this up with Hades. This was Hades' decision. He says I can go to Elysium on one condition. I need to confront my greatest enemy. Demos. Demos. Brasidas, you shouldn't be waiting here to fight her. Why not? I've met Hades. There must be a catch. What did he say, exactly? He said... To walk Elysium in death, the son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. Gods and their fucking riddles! Can't they ever just say what they mean? <sighs> but I think I've already solved your first problem. And that is? A true son of Sparta wouldn't dare face an enemy without their shield. We need to find yours. It's in the Forgotten Sepulchre. I tried to retrieve it, but Hades sent guards to defend the tomb after some Malakas killed Seboros. That Malakas was me. And now I'm stuck working for Hades. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? You've made things around here... complicated. I wasn't the friend you needed in life. Let me be a friend to you now. Courage eludes me in the underworld. Deep down, I'd hoped I'd never have to face Demos again. What can you tell me about this forgotten sepulchre? It houses the armor, trophies, and weapons of dishonored warriors. Things they were buried with in death, but were stripped of in the underworld. How will I know which shield is yours? You should know my shield by now. It bears the colors of Sparta and has been through many battles. The weight of your shield will help you feel like your old self. Make sure to take only mine. Taking any others will be your doom. The 
This is it. Let's go. Why would Brasidas' shield be in a place for dishonored warriors? He was the most honorable warrior I knew. It doesn't make sense. The door is locked. I need to find a way in. These symbols might be the key to opening the door.
memories, perhaps. Lethe's water here in the underworld to forget. Water, time, the mind. It's another riddle. I should return to the door. This is the underworld. Drink the water, it makes. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. to proceed us.
Your shield, General. I'll never forget the day this was first handed to me. I was a boy. It was as tall as I was. My commander told me, to hold this is to hold up Sparta. Drop it, and Sparta falls. Tell me what Elysium's like. It isn't what you think. It's... Do you feel cold? Elysium is boring. Not since I showed up. Ah, yes. You do have a knack for livening things up wherever you go. Ah, still dreaming of paradise, I see. Well, no one wants you to get what you deserve more than me. I'm glad you two have found each other. We could all use a little help from time to time. Well, you've got your shield. Are you ready to face your enemy? I am. Don't look, Brasidas. Hades is trying to get to you. Afraid of you, Themos. What is this? An even greater enemy defeated you long before Demos ended your life. Themos was blessed by the fury of the gods, and even after she cut you down once, you still didn't learn. It wasn't hubris. I fought for honor. Listen, Brasidas. It was hubris. Don't make this mistake a third time. As Spartans, I should have known. We live together. Train together. This time, we fight together. It would be my honor. It was good fighting together again. I guess it's time to say goodbye. The spears were my brother's idea. Poseidon can be cruel sometimes. I did as you asked. You promised me Elysium. Hmm. Not quite. But you said... I said that to walk Elysium in death, a son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. And you have not yet done so. 
I know, I know. It's all very hard to wrap your little mortal minds around. Which is why I'm going to help you. Why these games? Why not just let him go? Because eternity is long. Letting you go wouldn't be much fun, now would it? Find the forest of Oasis. The dead will point the way. The forest of Oasis. Sounds inviting. It's where I keep the miserable humans who ended their mortal suffering by their own hand. If there's one thing I hate, it's uninvited guests. The dead will point the way to what? I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You'll just have to... trust me. Come, Brasidas. The sooner we get this done, the sooner you can be free of this place. would point the way. I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I am Lilera, and you are Brasidas. General, conqueror, hero. Hades sent me to find you. So you finally come to reunite me with my love. Charon carried us along the river, but we got separated. Bring my love to me, and I'll tell you all I know. Where must I go? Between the sulfuric pools and the village of the Condemned, there is a cave. My love lies within. This task is mine. I will go. I can't imagine spending eternity without those I love. You must be in great pain. I'll tell you all. If Brasidas succeeds... What do you mean, if? The weight of the past can be a much heavier burden to carry than we realize. I should go find him. He might need my help.
There you are. What's wrong? What is this place? The cradle of the underworld. Little ones who die too soon are kept here. The dead cannot enter. The dead can't enter, eh? Well, let's see about the living. I'll be on high alert here. Where is that crying coming from? So much death in these urns. It's a graveyard.
see that? We need to get out of this cave first. Just like old times, see what I see that? was her baby. Why would Hades have you return the ashes of a woman's child? I don't know. <whistles> what did you do to him? The past was too much for him to bear. Brasidas, talk to me. I... can't. Tell me what you did to him, or I will cut you down from that tree. <laughs> and what? Hurt me? There is nothing you could do that Brasidas the Butcher hasn't already done. The Butcher? Rasidas, you did it. We were a quiet village before the Spartans came. My husband was no warrior. He looked at Athenian. Our land was occupied by Athens. Our men were trained, supplied with armor and weapons in case of invasion. We never thought that they would come. When the battle was over, Spartans flooded the village, drunk on victory and blood. They torched our homes. Your husband attacked me in the street. He was protecting his people, his family. But Brasidas butchered my husband. And when I tried to protect him, he tossed me aside. <laughs> my love didn't survive the fall. I didn't know. And so we named him Brasidas the Butcher. He massacred my people, and took everything from me. I... I found my husband's sword, and ended the pain. Is this true? I don't know what... happened. War is chaos. If you want to point fingers, point them at Ares. The god of war didn't run his sword through my husband. Didn't throw me and my child to the ground. Rasidas the Butcher did. Come, Rasidas. There is nothing more to be done here. Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. I made an oath to protect the innocent, and I broke it. Still feel you deserve to walk the fields of paradise, butcher? Don't call him that. Why not? That woman's entire village does. 
what's left of it anyways. You Spartans really know how to torch a village. You never answered my question. Say the word, and the Elysium is yours. Help me, Alexios. I... I don't know what to do. Brasidas, you were a friend to me like no other. But after hearing that woman's story, I... If I had done those things, I'd have to stay and make up for what I'd done. I want to stay. I don't belong in Elysium. It is for the honorable. But after everything that's happened, you've made me realize I've lost my honor. I've lost my place in paradise. Is this your final decision? Excellent. And I have just the task for you. The cradle is now open to you, Brasidas. You will spend eternity reuniting families separated by war. Do you accept this fate? I do. Good. Now, say goodbye. Thank you for everything you've done for this old warrior. Thank you for being a friend. Goodbye, Brasidas. It was good to see you. You knew he would stay all along, didn't you? I had a feeling. Want to know a fate worse than death? An eternity without toys. There is nothing more predictable than an honorable Spartan. I need to stay hidden. Ah! Finally, Hades has sent me a challenge. Bow before your true king! I'll bow if you go to the gates and protect the other. needs a king, Agamemnon. Go to the gates and protect the people the way you do best. Bellerophon, lend me your might. I'm not here to challenge you, Perseus. I need your help. My help must be earned. Father, descend and fight with me. Huh! <laughs> 
snap out of it, Perseus. We're allies, and I need your help. Go to the gates and protect this place. up and be a hero for Hades, and for all the people in the underworld. Alexios returns. Victory written across his face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Enough games, Hades. I did as you asked. We had a deal. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow accustomed. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife. And I won't bow to you. <laughs> oh, you'll fucking bow. <laughs> Shame it has to end. You 
would have made an excellent addition to my dead hero. Collect this! See what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever you are. Malaka! Oh, 